Hi, welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. I'm Sarah Hatch, I'm a mom of five and an artist. And today we are going to start drawing some of the baby animals from, from Wildcraft. Yeah. And so, if you're familiar with the show, they always love to name the animals that they find and help. Oh, Martin does. Yeah. And so this one is called Little Howler. And what is he? Um, he's a gray wolf. Yeah. But real quick, I just want to show off her cute earrings. She created these little paper crane earrings all by herself. So cute. I can't believe she like, I... folded them so tiny. And then I attached them to a string and put beads on them. And then I attached them to my earring. Yeah, we got these matching pearl earrings and then she attached the string with the paper crane onto her earrings. I thought that was so cool. <laughs> All right, should we get started? Yep. All right. Right about here for the ear, and we're gonna make this triangle shape. And then we're gonna fill it in a little bit. Like that. And then inside of that ear, we're gonna do this curvy triangle with a little line in there and some hairs and then this line comes up next to it sorry mine's looking a little funky let me fix that okay yours looks great now we're gonna make this boomerang shape so be careful because follow my angle so watch me first so we come down to just a little bit past and then make a little notch and then go in. You don't want it to, yeah, that's good. And then we're gonna come down and join up. That's really good, I like yours. Okay, now up here, we're gonna make another curve comes up and over and then it notches in cool this is looking good all right so now we're gonna do this ear with this cool triangle shape again so it kind of is like the Star Trek symbol you know Star Trek. Okay, and then it comes down. Are they episodes? Uh-huh. There's some movies too. Alright, so there's like a little patch in here. Good. Alright, so now we kind of think about how that is is like a circle for the top of the head. Think about that and then continue it down. Okay, so straight down from like this ear, come down to about where that line ends, just a little bit above it. And that's where you're gonna make a little mark for the top of the nose. And then you're gonna come out to there. And then the nose is kind of like a trapezoid. An upside down trapezoid. Nice. Why is it there a highlight? Um, Wildcrest doesn't do highlights in their stuff as much. Hmm. The closest we get to it is a notch that's going to be out of the eye that you'll see in just a second. So look at this curve shape. We're going to come right here and curve out and then forward like that. And then we're gonna angle it forward again and then curve it up. All right, 
you might need to make your nose just a little bit bigger. All right. <laughs> and then we're gonna curve a line in between these. Okay. And then Now we're gonna give him a little smile. And then some little whisker marks. All right. Now one eye is right here, kind of close to the snout. I'm making a circle. Oops, that's more of an oval. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go, that's more of a circle. And then another half circle right here. And I'm just gonna thicken that line right there and match my other one. Okay, and then inside the pupil, and we'll have a little notch outside of it. That's the closest we get to a highlight with these guys. So see that little notch out of the pupil? Then we're gonna do the same thing over here. Dad, I, the pupils kind of make the baby animals cute. I agree. Totally. Okay. <clears throat> now he's got this really thin line. Make sure not to make it too thick. It's just a thin line right here. And then it curves down. And then Kind of like a, that's kind of like a diagonal D or a, yeah. A diagonal D. Yeah. D D. And then there's just another really thin one over here. Almost can't even see it, but when we color it, it'll be a little more pronounced. All right, looking good. Okay, so now we're gonna do this tuft of hair down here, so do a line down. We can do the wrinkle. Okay, yeah, let's do that wrinkle right here. And then let's do these little fur marks that they do. It kind of looks like sewing. <laughs> yeah. Stitches. Yeah. Okay, one more right here. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we're doing a tuft of hair down here. So one line down, and then from here, we're gonna do a diagonal line back, and then up, and then back, and then it curves and meets up right there. It kind of looks like a beard. <laughs> yeah. So out of this ear, we're gonna do a little tuft of fur. With some like fur marks and then it notches down and then we're gonna make his back about this long then his tail goes up and back then curves back and down And then his hind quarters are right here. And then it goes, let's see. So we're gonna look at it here and that's where we're gonna notch it out and then meet it up there. And then where this notch is, we're gonna draw a curved line going down. And let's see, yeah, this is a little longer than that on purpose, but I think I can just make it a tiny bit longer. Okay. Now we're going to connect this part with that part by doing these curved lines. So this is how they draw it on the show. 
they kind of use shapes to show the different hair colors. So you do curve, curve, curve. Three okay. bumps. Yeah. Like a mountain range. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now we're going to draw the front. So there's two legs right here. We're going to draw this leg first. Okay, so we've already done that tuft, which led to this little curve. Oh wait, okay, so that's the tuft of hair, sorry. This is part of the leg. Comes down, okay, and then it goes straight down to about where that one is, good. And then we're going to go curve forward and back to there. Oopsies. You can just make it bigger now because, yeah, there you go. Because we were actually going to do this little shape inside of it anyway, because that's how the artists do the toes. See that? So that was okay. All right, now we're gonna do another tuft. Before we draw all the way up, we're gonna do this tuft of fur right here. And then we're gonna draw the line up into the... And you know, I like how yours is thinner. I wish I had done my foot a little thinner, but can't go back now, so I guess that's just how it is. <laughs> if you could turn back time. If I could turn back time. <laughs> You're like, stop saying egg mom. All right. So now this tuft gets kind of closer to that line. Well, that's good enough. And then it comes down and then curves up and meets up there. And then this comes down, and it's down here. Okay, now we're gonna do this back leg. So we're gonna come curve that line there, bring it down, make a little rainbow, bring it down, and over like that. <clears throat> And then a straight line across, and then these lines. Good. And then right back here, we're gonna do this back leg like that. And then we're going to just show two of the toes. All right, and then we're gonna come right here and go forward, curve it over and up, and then follow it back up, and then curve right here for the front. Good, and then straight across and down, and then two lines, and three dots. And then right back here, we're going to make this little patch of gray. And then there's some little markings in there and there, and here. I'm gonna make this a little bit more pronounced. And that's it. All right, we're gonna color it in time-lapse. good job drawing little howler i hope you had fun drawing it like we did and um tag me at sarah hatch art studio on instagram so that i can see how yours turned out there's one <laughs>
<laughs> and um, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future videos. Bye.